In this quick video, I will show you how to open your Chevy HHR key fob so you can replace its internal battery at home. Replacing your battery at home is very easy to do and it'll just take under five minutes and you don't need anything fancy to get it done. You'll just need a flathead screwdriver and one CR2032 battery. If you don't know where to get these batteries, go ahead and check out the, um, the link in the description. That link will take you over to Amazon where you can find one of these batteries for just a few dollars. And um, one other quick note is that some of you out there might have a version that looks just like mine. Others will have a three button version. So you don't have this trunk version, you just have the three buttons. As long as it looks like this one and it's for the HHR, you can follow along with this video and the process and the battery, everything's gonna be exactly the same. So first step is to grab your flathead, come over here, look at the bottom right of the device right next to where the key ring attaches. And you can see right there, there's a very small little slot right along the seam of the two halves of the device. Take your flathead and go ahead and insert it into that area. Just kind of wiggle it in. And once it's stuck in there, you just hold the device gently and twist your key. And that will start to open this thing up as you can see there. And now you can, you can just keep twisting or you can pull it apart with your fingers. There we go. Once we have this open, you can set the back side down. And what we want to do is just gently lift out the circuit board that's in there. We can now set that to the side. From here, we can just go ahead and slide the battery right out of this little metal component. So slide that out, dispose of your old battery, make sure your new battery is a 2032 battery. And when we're putting, when you're putting the new battery in, the positive side that has the plus sign and that battery information on there should be facing up. So slide your battery all the way in, positive side up. And now we just need to put it all back together. So go ahead and take the front of the device, which has the rubber housing here. And you're just gonna drop the board right back in there, battery facing up. And then you can just grab the um, back section of plastic, set that on top and squeeze it all back together. So that's really all it takes. I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, feel free to let me know down in the comment section or just by giving this video a like, which we greatly appreciate. And uh, if you ever need help with another one of your key fobs, come back to this channel. We've got you covered with videos for pretty much every device from every maker model out there. And you can also get that information directly over at our website, which is fobbattery.com.